Hello YouTube, thank you for watching the Ascender Divination Pri uh, Priestess channel. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families as always. I return to source, I return to sender. All negative energies and intent immediately and permanently. I call in only the purest of white light and pray and hope that you stay only in the highest of vibrational energy. Okay. Whatever the enemies have stolen from you, it is returned to you. All evil and negative plans of the enemies against you are dismantled and being dismantled as we speak. As I have said, so shall it be. Uh, really quickly, YouTube, uh, I don't know if you all are aware, but there's some type of inside job going on. Some of your employees are out here working with people to block your, cre your content creator's uh, work. Um, I saw the name, uh, I think it's like F-A-R-R-A-H, Farrah or something like that. There's a woman that works for YouTube, like a support specialist that's helping a family or a karmic group block people's uh, platform, block people's platform from growing. There's, some, there's something that someone with the name Farrah is doing. And she's doing it with a few other support specialists, I believe. Um, and then the name Nia or Naya came up. Um, I think she's she may be working with a family. And there's a woman in that family called either Naya or Nia or something like that. But there's some type of collaboration going on. And they are playing with people's platforms. Especially uh, people that do like divinations and things like that. Uh, I don't know if like Naya, Nia, whoever this is, is trying to block other people's content from being seen so she can be the head honcho of the spiritual community or she does not want someone to be seen is what I'm, hear I'm hearing. So she's been paying someone to block specific content creators platforms and these are terror readers that they are coming after. Um, so that's what I'm getting. So I don't know if YouTube, you want to look into it, but one of your, spe one of your support specialists and maybe a couple of others behind the scenes that work for you are out here blocking content creators work. Okay. Anyways, um, there's a King of Cups. You are going to be having some type of victory. Um, I don't know if you maybe found your voice, you're coming out of the cold or you're leaving an institution. You've been going through some type of healing and you are moving on with your life. You're either uh, leaving a toxic connection behind. Yeah, you are going through some type of epiphany. You found your confidence, your voice. You're looking at things a little bit more clearer now and moving on with life. Um, you are accepting or answering your call. You do want to go forward and have some type of fulfillment in life. There's someone you want to communicate with that you see as someone that's in the upright. Um, you are like you're going through some type of ascension. You're going through some type of awakening. Be very much uh, aware that there is the king of swords either around you or aware of you that's making some type of decision in secret. Um, behind the scenes, he has some type of ulterior motive. He's planning something to cause you some type of burden because he does not want you having wish fulfillment in a relationship. So he wants to cause you distress. If there's a woman that you are interested in, he's trying to cause this woman burdens as well. So he wants this person hurt. I don't know if there's like a lot of money on the line and this is why they're doing something. But I know that throughout my readings, what I've been receiving is that it's a group of people. It's a whole family that are under judgment or that is under judgment because they've been trying to block some type of divine union. And I'm trying to be really patient with this uh, stage of my reading because it seems like it's a lot about some type of union coming together and I try not to focus my reads on that because I really try to encourage people to self-actualize and live to their truth and in their truth um, so that when they are actually healed then they can focus on the love aspect of themselves um, but because I know a lot of us out here including myself we are not healed enough to be committing to the kind of love and connections and commitments and loyalties that we are looking for. So that's why I try to focus a little bit more on our individual journeys, but as a collective. Does that make sense? Um, but this King of Cups is having some type of epiphany, like he knows the truth. Someone is healing. 
getting in touch with your inner child someone may even want to i think like uh speak to like an impress energy to ask for some type of uh, forgiveness or they want to have closure. He's looking a little bit more deeper into things in life. It's not just in this situation, but in everything in life. And this is going to help him master himself. Um, you need to be very protective of the illusions that are being caused to you right now. Um, about someone, I don't know if this is like a feminine energy or there's a feminine energy in your energy that is uh causing some type of deception that you need to be aware of there's a whole group backing this woman up there's some type of conflict going on amongst this group they will eventually have to disperse because there's some type of uh reckoning whatever it is some type of revelation that's going to take place some type of humbling that's about to take place in someone's life in this group. That's going to cause the group to kind of disperse. Um, but no one in this group is exempt from karma. What I picked up on all the way up also is that there's a family behind the scenes that's trying to pressure a masculine into doing something to a feminine energy. But it's like, I don't know if this is like a king of pentacles or a king of swords that's in the upright. They're trying to manipulate him or not manipulate yeah manipulate him and intimidate him at the same time and sir if you're watching these people are trying to intimidate you and i think you are someone that is in the upright so you already know what it is they're doing so if you know what it is they're doing then you know you don't really need to entertain that i think they're trying to put you in between a rock and a hard place it's that it's a double-edged sword if you move this way, there's problems. If you move this way, there's problems. I think it's something where a family is saying that if you don't do what I'm telling you to do, we're going, I don't know if they like fund someone's lifestyle, fund someone's business, something like that is what I'm picking up. It's like, basically, if you don't do this to this person, then we are going to stop funding you and we're going to turn on you and then come after you or something like that. So it's like it, it, he can either do what they say and they leave him alone and they're happy. But then, you know what? There's that karma from God. And I don't care how dreadful life looks. I'm always a little bit more afraid. Not a little. I'm a lot more afraid of receiving some type of reckoning from God than anyone else. So I don't care what people do to me. You can, you, you're free to do as you please, right? If God lets you. Um, but I'm more so concerned with what God can do to me than anyone else on this planet. So there is something like that where it's like a group of people, they were celebrating some type of downfall or conflict, some type of stalemate they're causing someone's life, but they celebrated a little too early. Now they're at some type of stalemate and fighting with one another. They probably, not probably, I'm being corrected to say they definitely will have to walk away from this mission or whatever this is be mindful collective someone in this group may want to take some type of action and charge towards you to do some type of uh, harm to you uh to pick some type of fight with you but just know that your ancestors are protecting you everyone in this group is under some type of judgment so you are okay okay um you don't have anything to worry about you continue to live in your in your uh, truth just be smart about how you move uh, you may have people waiting for you in places, waiting for you to pop up. So they may be trying to hinder your life and things like that so that you can leave and go to certain places that they'll have access to you so they can do you something. There's also something where it's that people are trying to do things to you so they can cause you money problems. And then you'll have to reach out to someone to ask them for help. Once you reach out to that person and ask them for help, you are letting the devil into your life. It's what I'm being told to tell you. So do not, I'm telling you like someone is waiting for the moment you cause it so they can come rushing in to save the day, but they're not really coming in to save the day. They're coming in to cause you conflict. It's nothing but conflict. Um, what, what I'm also getting is that it's something to, to bind you to them. So let's say you're in some type of financial bind and you think you can trust someone and you reach out to them to ask them for financial assistance and they give you that financial assistance. Well, now they can hold it over your head. Someone may even have you sign a contract and say that you have to pay this in this amount of time. And if you don't pay it, then you are obligated to do certain things or you are obligated to whatever. So it's a setup. So do not. I need you to like stand 
firm in your character, whoever you are. If you are an Empress energy, then be confident within that energy, right? You are a very abundant person and you're about to be prospering in life. If people were trying to block you from uh, receiving some type of love offer, you will receive it because this is something that is divinely part of your contract. This is part of your soul contract for you and someone to come together. And this is your justice. I think these people know that you are aware that you and someone will be coming together. This could be a kink of pentacles that's going through some type of ending, could be going through some type of divorce behind the scenes as well. Um, so just be mindful. I think what it is, is that once someone is done going through a divorce, whoever this is, um, and then they put in the effort to maybe heal, take care of themselves and things like that, then they'll come towards you. But it's not right now. I'm telling you, they'll come towards you. This is an emperor that wants to invest into you. Okay. Um, so I know we have the seven of swords out here, but I think this has to do with how this man is leaving this community or whatever this relationship is that he's leaving. Like he's keeping his distance, um, because he's going through some type of, I don't know if it's a heartbreak a disappointment or something of that nature, but he does want to commit to you so that you two can have a new beginning. And this is something that he's awakening to now. And he has some type of realization of who you are and things like that. There's also something about him coming in to awareness about who you are, right? That you are someone very loyal, someone very respectable, someone holds you in a very high honor. And this is what's pissing people off behind the scenes. There could be like a queen of wands in this man's life um, that wants to be seen as the one in high honor or the one with high honor. It's almost as though like a concubine, a mistress, friends will benefit, something like that wants to be seen as like someone with self-respect. Um, it's something like that. And this woman, I don't know if this is like the same story because I'm getting different downloads. Someone like a queen of wands is either pregnant with a child or she already had a child and she's telling a masculine that is his child, but there's something about a child people need to, people need to look into whether it's the, the well being of the child or whether it's the, the, paternity of whatever it is something needs to be looked into about a child i had a dream where it's like there was a child that was not being well taken care of and it was like the mother she spent more time like stalking other people online like she was neglecting her kid right and i'm not sure what happened to the father but it's like the kid ended up in some type of court system you know, like stuff that you just don't want happening. Like as a parent, the last thing you want is for your kid to end up in the court system. Right. Um, but there's something going on where it's like, um, a, a mother maybe neglecting her child and not paying attention to the kid and the kid may end up in like the court system. Something may happen to both parents and someone is going to end up having to take care of this child that doesn't belong to them. Um, but spiritually this child belongs to you whoever you are impress energy so it's almost as though you are like the justice for this child and how this is going to happen is going to be really supernatural it's like both parents are out here misbehaving not really taking care of a kid um and there's gonna there's something that's gonna happen where i think a couple is gonna go on the run and they're going to go like drop their kid off somewhere um, either in the court system, foster care or something like that. But someone may leave you a message asking you to please take care of this child for them because they know that you are someone very nurturing and you will raise the kid in the right way and you will give them the love that they deserve. Um, and it's up to you to make that decision if you want to even be involved in that. But there is something where I saw is that one woman had a child, but the child on a spiritual level really belongs to the person that's going to be taking care of the child. Um, and I'm going to tell this story because I feel like it's applicable to this situation. So when I was born, my late mother, she had a best friend who is a nurse and she was the midwife at my birth when my mother was having me. And we come from a very spiritual background. So when they brought over our spiritualists in the community, they told both of them, uh, you know, my late mother, let's say her name started, it started with a V and the, my mom that I ended up living with, her name started, starts with an N, right? So they told her 
V had the baby, but the baby belongs to you and spiritually. So V really just had the baby for you. Okay. Uh, so it's something like that. Like you and this child, I know sometimes it can be really hard to, oh, this is heavy. I know it can be really hard sometimes to connect to kids, especially if you haven't been there the whole time from when they were born. Um, because, and I don't know if people know this. When you have children, you don't automatically bond with them. It's like throughout time. Like you, when you have the kid, you're like, oh, they're so cute. They're so cuddly. I want to hold them all day. But the emotional bond is really established over time. The longer you interact with that child and you're taking care of them and nurturing them, the emotional bond and the spiritual bond, the mental bond is strengthens as time goes on. So while you may not have been there when they had this child, you and this child are going to be like thick as steel, like, like just real close. It's going to be a very beautiful relationship. Like it's going to take a little bit of a time for this child to open up to you because they have had some type of really hard background. Like you can imagine coming from uh, a background where you've been neglected. Someone's not really looking after you. You're kind of just like there. Um, and then you go into like someone's home that you're not really acquainted with. You got to get adjusted to them. So you're going to have to try to see it from this child's perspective. Um, but on a spiritual level, this child belongs to you. Okay. Because in my dream, and I've had a dr two dreams that pertains to this. The first time I had the dream, I saw the woman, the new mother walking out of the courtroom with the child. She was holding the kid's hand and they were walking like the, the new mother had on like some white pants and I think like a black top. Um, and she and the child were walking out of the court, um, to go home. And it was kind of dark outside, kind of simplifying, exemplifying the, like the past of the child, the darkness that they had had to go through or something like that. Um, and then the last dream I had, and I think it was just recently, it was like, there was a mother and a father and I don't know what they did to this child, but the child was like, I don't know if like they were trying to bury a kid and like in the dream, another woman steps in and she pulls the kid out of the ground because the kid was still alive. And it was like the new mother pulling her out and she was crying and screaming like, no, what have you done? That's, that's what, what I remember. She was yelling like, no, what have you done? What have you done? Um, and then like, as she, as she was crying, the, her tear, it dropped on the, the side of the kid's forehead and like the kid eyes started moving. It was like the love of the new mother, like brought life into that child. So it's something like that. It's going to be something that's very heavy when it happens for you, but just keep that in mind. But there is something going on with a child's well-being. <sighs> oh my gosh. There's something going on. There is something, yeah. I've been seeing a lot of the page of cups, the page of, uh, of wands. So yeah, intuitively, I think, yeah, there's something going on with a kid. Like you, this child is yours on a spiritual level. Spiritually, this is your kid. Is what I'm getting. Okay. Um, but there's a king of cups that may want to apologize to you for something from the past. Now that he knows the truth. Um, he could have been helping a family before to hide you, block you, stop you, end you, whatever this is. There's some type of collaboration that has been going on with the King of Wands behind the scenes. When it comes to you, um, they've been tempering with your work, but I think someone knows now that your work is genuine, that you are someone that's truly committed to what it is that you do, and you may be an ascendant master. You're someone that has mastered yourself, and you take your job very seriously. You could be someone that's multifaceted and destined to be very successful. Uh, he may be thinking of you as a healer, that he feels that you are someone that can heal him. And because he's going through some type of healing, you, um, like the energy I'm getting about you, you're very nurturing, Queen of Cups energy. Um, you're very nurturing and this masculine may see that about you and he may you know, want to come towards you to give you some type of offer. The cards came out in the scene, the Two of Cups, the Justice, Four of Wands, and then the Eight of Freaking Wands, followed by the Empress. And then what? The Judgment card, right? There's going to be some type of solid commitment between you and this person. It's going to be like something that comes with loyalty and things like that. Um, 
just be cautious because this man is still going through some type of healing. Um, j just be, yeah, just be like, I don't know. Just be cautious. Don't rush into anything. Don't rush into any type of marriage. Like you can start off slow and work your way to the top. <laughs> like I always advise on this channel, but there is absolutely some type of conflict going on behind the scenes because a group of people have been advocating for this masculine to walk away and reject you and things like that. Um, but there is something where these people have been stalking you online. Someone may have taken some type of impulsive action that has led to a tower and is causing them a lot of burdens at night. Someone's illusions or delusions they've been causing has been dismantled and they have no one to blame but themselves. It's like someone there's something where it's like a karmic family behind the scenes. They've been plotting an ending for a high priestess, right? A feminine energy. I'm telling you, I didn't even know this was down here. I turned my deck. You're a high priestess in the upright. Okay. They've been plotting an ending for you. It's like they don't want you in like an equilibrium energy where you're balanced, you're attuned, you're healed, you're not really paying attention to these people. So they're taking actions behind the scenes to temper with your vibration and things like that. But they say you are ahead of these people. So it's that, oh, well, if we can disconnect them from their work, that's going to get a reaction out of them. But it doesn't. Oh, if we temper with their resources, that's going to get a reaction out of them. But it doesn't. It's like they want to do something where you end up reaching out to someone, reaching out to the wrong person to ask them for assistance so you can end up martyring yourself. But you already know the truth about who you are on a spiritual level and who you really have a contract with on a spiritual level you could have a masculine that has been trying to pretend to be your twin flame as we all call it or your soulmate your match he's been hoping or they've been grooming him to believe that he's your twin flame and i don't even think it's for him to believe it's just for him to present himself as your twin flame so this is someone that will be astral projecting into your dreams and presenting himself in the likeness of who you are supposed to be with. So you got to be careful. Okay. Careful. Um, but this is something they've been teaching him. I hear someone saying that, Oh, you know, she likes you. She thinks you two are meant to be together. And then they all got together and came up with a plan. This is how you're going to go towards her. This is what you're going to say. This is what she's into. You got to carry yourself this way and things like that. But you know everything, you know everything these people are planning and that's the problem. And they're out here also trying to intimidate someone that's in the upright so that he can do something to you, cause some type of hindrance to you to have you blocked, have you stuck, have you bonded and things like that, right? They want you to, they want you to live in like, okay? They want you to be out here struggling they want you out here doing something to yourself. So it's like they want to set up situations where you end up undoing yourself. So they can't, so no one can say, oh, this family did this to this woman. Oh, this family did that. Uh, this person did that to the woman. Meanwhile, the whole time it really is the family doing it, but they're trying to make it look like it's you that's naturally doing it, right? There's something where these people are being monitored and they don't know and someone knows the truth about what they're doing. This could be like an investigator behind the scenes that is aware of what these people are doing. If they are not careful, there are people in this story that are going to end up on the news. This story may end up on, yeah, it's going to end up on the news. <laughs> the Wheel of Fortune is my news card. It's going to end up on the news. Look at that. Everything, everyone involved, all the lies, the illusions, everything is going to be on the news. So whatever they're doing, it may not be going their way and they're frustrated about it. But there's a reason sometimes when you're trying to do something over and over and the door is locked and source keeps telling you no, they're telling you no for a reason because you are headed down the wrong path. So you may want to turn around, but there's something here about money. It has to do with a 10 of pentacles. They said they don't want to lose the money. The money is already lost. You may not feel like it's physically lost, but it's already lost in the spirit. And all that's about to happen is that you're about to lose it in the physical. So whatever it is you've been afraid to lose, you've already lost it. Okay. And this is for the whole family. This a business is about to fall apart. Because they just didn't know how to listen. A whole community is about to fall apart. 
okay? There may be something where it's like a queen of swords in a community is going to have when she, I don't know what she's about to do, but when she does it and she is like, I can't say that part, that's going to help a community of people move on because she's the one that's been keeping them in fear, keeping them doing things that they don't even understand to weigh someone else down when they shouldn't be doing something. So there's a queen of cups. I mean, queen of swords is going to do something that's going to help put an end to some, to a situation. And I'm not going to say what it is that she's going to do because we need her to do it so that this karmic chapter can end for you. Um, which I already know because th this energy that I read is someone is very malicious. Someone is a lost cause. And I think there are people in this community that are really tired of her. I think they see that her mental is unstable and someone, at some, I think there's a group that finds a woman to be annoying and agitating at this point and she doesn't know it. I don't know if there's like a authority thing or a fear thing. They don't know how to tear her no or they're not, they can't tear her no because of her ranking in the community or something like that. Um, but there's a group that is fed up with this woman. They want to move on with their life. They're not happy about the things they invested in. So they're thinking from a higher perspective now. Some of them may even want to apologize to you. Some of them may just want to move on with their lives because everyone is under judgment. And so they want to move on and, and actually live a fulfilling life. But there's a queen of swords in this community that just will not let go. She does not want to put an end to this chapter. Um, there could be people in here that want to extend some type of friendship to you. I'm just telling you so that you are aware this has been going on for a long time. You could have like a queen of pentacles that's having some type of fun memory of you, like someone is thinking of you. So if they're thinking about you in a positive way, then that means that they are aware that some type of lie was, was told, some type of deceit. A deception was going on so now maybe they're seeing things from a higher perspective and they're remembering you now as an actual friend instead of an enemy because there was some type of lie told to this person about you uh, someone may even be watching you and you're not aware and someone feels like they martyred themselves so they may want to communicate with you but they are burdened that you're going to reject them okay they could be part of an institution it's a whole lot of people going through something behind the scenes that you may not be aware of Okay, there's an emperor in here too that's living in fear. He may want to reach out to you. Maybe he sees you as wish fulfillment. I don't think he's a liar. I think he's someone that's in the upright. But I think someone is afraid to reach out to you to bring something to your awareness to kind of just balance something out. I'm telling you, just to balance something out. But it's that like he feels like he's stuck in between a hard place and a rock. You know, there's when. Uh, Cat Williams said, Pam down, Pam down. He's not a Pam, but he just feels like he's down. He's stuck. Like he's in between a hard place and a rock right now. He does not know which way to move. You got people out here trying to steal everything from you, take you down. There could be an emperor in here that admires you, but it's like if he makes the wrong move, then him, he's out here like chopped liver. He's out here in limbo. Hanging out here, out here like our dry meat. Yeah, this man is afraid. I'm not really sure if it's even like he's not afraid of these people. I think he's just more afraid of like destroying his life because this is someone that has worked extremely. Yeah, he's worked extremely hard to come to where he is. He's come a very, very far way and he's afraid of making the wrong decision. But this is someone in the upright um, and I think he will be taking. I don't, I don't know. I shouldn't say that. I'm not going to say that. But someone is afraid to do something out here, okay? There there could be people out here that are bothered um, by someone's loyalty to your friendship and things like that. They don't want, oh yeah, they don't want you like stabilized. They don't want you committed to your work. They don't, they don't, they don't want you moving forward. I don't know if there's something where it's like a group has been stealing from someone from behind the scenes like plagiarizing or something like that and they don't want the truth exposed someone has been pretending to be genuine but they're not yeah <laughs> someone has been pretending to be genuine but they're not they're karmic 
Is that someone wants a man to see her as wish fulfillment, as his equal, his counterpart, uh, his match, whatever this is. But this is her. This is her. This is all she is. It's karmic. Very karmic. All she does is play games. All she does is manipulate. That's all she does. There's nothing genuine about this woman. All she does is come up with ways on how to manipulate a masculine, how to play with his emotions. It's like a little game for her and she gets a thrill out of it. But the whole family is karmic. The whole family is karmic. Yeah, they want to put a dead to a new beginning between two people. They don't want you to reconciling. They don't want you to healing. They don't want you to connecting. They don't, they don't want you to connect in any way, shape, or form. If they could block telepathic messages, they would. If they could block you two from connecting in the spirit, they would. But they will not. They're not able to. There's something like that going on. This is dreadful. They're planning an ending. This person is putting an ending to this cycle. They're putting an end to it. It's not going anywhere. They're putting an end to it. This is like... I heard like the calm before the storm. Like the calm has passed. Now it's the storm. And these people aren't coming out of this storm the way they think they will. So they may want to, tr they may want to try to see things from a higher perspective because there's some type of chapter that's coming up or is here now. And these people are about to be really desperate out here for help, financial help. You know, like how... When coats, Colvin's car makes people that don't like you, but don't know how to leave you alone, will go out of their way to temper with your stability, your resources and things like that. And then you got to find a way to be strong and just listen and trust your ancestors to guide you through. These people are about to have to find their strength to make it through a really hard and long karmic cycle. Very hard, long, full of burdens. Full of burdens. They're going to have to be strong. Just like you had to be strong. This is that. I'm telling you. This is their return to sender. You had to be strong during your time. Of endings and things like that. So these people are going to have to be strong. This is you all's future. You're going to have to find the strength. To stand up to your, your setbacks. Your traumas. Everything. When you come out. You'll be brand stinking new. But the whole group out here. I think they know the truth now. About a situation. And they all know that they need to separate themselves from a specific character or a, a couple, whatever this is, so that they can have a fresh start and move on with their lives. Because all of this tricking, investing your money into blocking someone's future is leading to nothing. There's a, there's a thief out here that's headed to disappointment. Like you're about to lose everything. And you're going to be disappointed and facing still missing stagnations. For a very long time. And this is because of the action you took. Okay. Um, King of Cups. Be careful. Whoever you are. Be careful. There's some. I don't know what your people are planning for you. But someone said that you cannot be happy. They're trying to block your fulfillment. So it's not only that they're trying to block this woman's fulfillment. They're trying to block yours as well. They say you cannot. Like someone does not want to see you living a good life. And this is a whole family. Not, they don't want to see you living a good life outside of them. They don't want to see you happy in a family, married or anything like that. They said, nope. But you say you're going for it because you know the truth. And you are absolutely going through some type of ascension and calling for some type of justice in your life. And someone is very jealous of you. God dang. Someone's very jealous. Someone's very toxic. I'm telling you, they're, they're plotting something on you. They're plotting something on you. There's someone that said, oh my God, shut up. A lot. A lot. There's something in here about bigotry as well. Some type of bigotry. I don't Maybe Maybe this is like an interracial couple or something. But there's something about bigotry, prejudice. It's like there's a woman that does not like another woman. But she wants to be that woman. But everything around her is just dead. Like someone is lifeless. 
it doesn't have to be an interracial couple. It can be something that there's just, there's a woman where it's like everything around her is just dead. Like she comes with death. I saw a woman in my dream. It's like, I had this dream a while back. It's like a woman was trying to pretend to be something she wasn't. She wanted a masculine to believe that she was the divine feminine. And she kept like forcing herself in front of him. She like, like you had another, the actual divine feminine was right there, but she was pretending to be the divine feminine the whole time. And she went to go hug him. She wanted the divine feminine to see that that the masculine was hugging her, but he wasn't really hugging her. She's the one that went up to him to hug her. But I just remember like everything around this woman was just dark and dead, like blackness. And she grabbed a hold of his hand and she was skipping along. He was just walking. He wasn't skipping along. But I remember him saying her name and she was just skipping along, pretending to be real happy, pretending to be something like she wasn't. And right beside her was like a pile of S-H-I-T or like a pile of mold, like just a pile of like, I think fungus or S-H-I-T. And that was just letting me know that she ain't nothing to, like she cannot compete where she does not compare. And the sad part is that the divine feminine didn't really even care. The woman wasn't even paying them any mind. That's the sad and pathetic part. But it's like this woman wanted someone to see that the masculine was with her. But there's, I don't know what this is. I don't know what this is. Now she's living in fear that he's leaving or something like that. Listen, I don't got time for this. I don't have time for this. Yeah, so anyways, it's victory for these two, whoever they are. Because these are divine, these are contracts. These are soul contracts. So the universe is always going to make sure that these soul contracts are fulfilled it doesn't have to be love. It can be like just a business thing, but there's a purpose for these two coming together. So the universe is going to make sure that the contract is fulfilled. So all of this bribing people, paying uh, um, platform workers, like support specialists and things like that to hold people platforms back so that someone is not seen, someone is held back. This could be this woman's family that's paying support specialists on YouTube to hide other people's platforms. And there's a man that's going to find out the truth. They said, oh, so that's what you've been doing. Yeah, she's been paying. She and her family has been paying. Listen, when I said she and her, I heard raggedy. She and her family has been paying to have people's platform blocked so that you don't know or an a, a organization does not know where it is she's getting all of her, all of her information because... This is not a woman that's creative in any sense of the word. She's not creative at all. Someone's, someone's creativity is like on shutdown mode. It's on shutdown mode. It doesn't work. There's an emperor I'm picking up on that's going to fall for some type of pressure because there's a family pressuring him behind the scenes. He's going to fall for some type of pressure to betray someone. So, uh, collective, just be on the lookout. It shouldn't be a surprise to you. You will be getting some type of call to let you know something. Um, it shouldn't be a surprise to you. There is an emperor that's going to betray you. It's a spe- you should be expecting it. The universe says that you are, you are on your own, but it's okay. They're going, they are with you. Okay. Calm your mind. They're with you. Okay. Yeah, they're with you. Like there's an emperor, he's falling for pressure behind the scenes. He may be someone that does things in the upright, but they are intimidating him. This is an intimidation tactic that this group or this family uses. There's a family family that misuses religion. As in, they pretend to be in the upright. You know, if you see them physically, you say, oh, they're religious people. They believe in God. They do things in the upright. They are orthodox. They are not. Those people serve a whole different God behind the scenes. They just use religion 
as like a facade. They don't even believe in that stuff. Okay. We have the number two out here. It says you have a keen awareness of what is happening around you. A strong intuition is your gift and will help you understand the unspoken feelings and thoughts of others. This insight allows you to be a great guy and supporter. I am intuitive. I just heard something about someone losing a sponsorship or sponsorships. Someone out here, this woman that has been pretending or whoever this is that has been pretending is losing sponsorships because her business partners are aware of what she's been doing. Like someone's been pretending to know something, to be the originator of something and her sponsors, whoever has been working with her, they don't want to work with her anymore or him, whoever this is. Like, it's like the cat is out of the bag is what I just heard. The cat's out the bag. So she can't pretend anymore. So this says emerging dawn. Trust that everything ending is another beginning coming in disguise. Enjoy the journey. Okay. So there's something that's coming to an end for you, but it's okay. It'll be balanced out for you. It's a new beginning. Something has to end for something new to begin. Okay. It's a duality dance. Seek balance amid the chaos and find harmony within yourself. Steady as you go. Okay. Anyways, thank you all for watching. Stay blessed. Um, I'm being reminded to tell someone, do not make any contracts with anyone. The universe, you have a contract with the universe. That's the only contract you need. Do not sign a contract with anyone. Nothing. The, you will be connected with the people that you need and you're supposed to work with, but you don't have to sign a contract with anyone. Anyways, thank you for watching. Stay blessed. I'll see you in my next read. Goodbye for now.